If you guys want to be able to make a water show in Thiefer Tycoon 2 that looks like this. Then keep watching this video because I'm going to be showing you how to make that fireworks show in the protecting 2 and maybe you don't make the exact same fireworks show I do just make your own these are just kind of like the concepts of like how to actually make the fireworks show in the first place and have really cool patterns just like you saw in that little clip of the fireworks show or the water show I don't know why I said fireworks show of the water show that I made in the protecting 2 so keep watching till the end if you want to know how to make that and let's start this tutorial okay so right here I already made it once and the video Video got very messed up for some reason so I literally have to do this entire tutorial again but it's okay it's for you guys if you guys know how to make cool fireworks shows or oh my gosh I said fireworks shows again if you guys know how to make cool water shows then it's a win for us so let's let's make a cool water show even if I have to do it more than once so here we go so I'm gonna show you how to make like a cool oval pattern however you want you could do a random lake it could be anything you want please do not just copy what I do because then you get to make your own little thing because this game is supposed to be to be like really creative not just copying people so what we're gonna do is like break down the terrain here so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna go nine across right here so this is one two three four five six seven eight nine that is nine right there now to make the really perfect shape we're gonna go one two and then just go one and then go one two but the other way and now go five one two three four five and now do again one two and then just one and then one two the other way and then one two three four five six seven eight nine if you wanted this to be a perfect circle you would make the sides all five so this would be five instead of nine but I'm making it nine to be an oval so then one two one one two the other way one two three four five one two oh I did that wrong we're gonna go one two one one two and it should be perfect like that so now what we're gonna do is go to terrain height and we're gonna make it go down two, so as big as you can here and we're gonna make everything go down two. okay that should be perfect now what we're gonna do is paint all of this so it's just gonna be rock make sure to get the edges to all these like grass edges they're gonna look bad if you don't paint them so make sure to get all of the edges now we're gonna grab this basically what I did for this path is I got the default path colors I grabbed the color and I literally just came here and switched the appearance and boom it's that now just a whole outline of the little shape we made right here so it is a little small right here the way I'm doing it but you can make your little like pond thing this is more of a pond you can make yours a little bit bigger and now we're just adding a second layer of this concrete right here by the way so a whole second layer so then we have like two layers out here so people can actually like walk out here and look at the show all right there we go that looks actually pretty good now we're gonna add these fences on the outside and so far none of this requires disabled collisions it will require disabled collisions once we get in the water but there's always a way to do it without disabled collisions you do not need disabled collisions for this so if you don't have it it's gonna be a little harder maybe but it's gonna be you're still gonna make a cool firework show water show I mean water show okay everyone in the comments are probably gonna just bash on me for saying firework show every single time it's okay maybe in the comments if you got into this point like two minutes into the video uh, you should comment such a cool firework show comment that in the comments that would be actually kind of funny and if you're if the people not watching this look at the comments they're gonna be really confused so say really cool firework show in the comments better see everybody say that in the comments okay and now what we're gonna do I did make the mistake last time so I'm glad I'm doing it again because I made some mistakes we're gonna get the sequencer and we're going to place it up here and then we're gonna have a button right here to activate the sequencer but I'm gonna put it right here next to the sequencer why not and we're gonna make it so we add something and we add the sequencer and any player can use this if you really just want yourself to be able to turn on the fire show that's probably best here so just do park owner unless you just want anybody to be able to activate it then do that all right so how we're gonna start is like this so we're gonna grab a water emitter and grab the $800 one if you do not have disabled collisions place your water emitters at the surface of where the water is going to be so then you don't run into any problems but if you don't have to if you do have disabled collisions then you can just do it one down from the surface of the water so what we're going to do my idea for this fireworks show is to have three circles so you did listen to the song a little bit earlier in the video so the it's going to be like one circle 
another circle a big circle and then everything together and it's gonna be super epic it's gonna be about right there i'd say for the big circle maybe and we're gonna turn it off don't forget to turn this thing off you don't have to change any settings other than that because you can change the settings in the sequencer so that is the middle point for that circle and for the other circles we're gonna go forward just about to halfway right here so here's the side we're gonna go one two three and then we're gonna go up a half step right there so one two three and then halfway up right here and perfect so that is the three circles we're gonna be placing right there and to get the circles if you don't have disabled collisions all you have to do is place one right there and then place one right here and then place one right there and then one right here so it's kind of like a diamond shape and do that for that one as well but if you do have disabled collisions what we're going to be doing is just make it go to the side two and now we're just going to do it every 45 degrees like this so it's a better circle but it's not necessarily that much better than if you don't have disabled collisions so same with this side over here so two right there and now for this one what if you do not have disabled collisions go like this and do a diamond like this look you place that and then that and then that and so you go down like this and it's basically going to be a diamond all the way around you could do it a little bit bigger than what i did it and now we're just going to go every 45 degrees like this perfect like that and they're all turned on aren't they dang it so what i did for my other fire my other water show i said firework show again but what i did for this one is i did 16 of them you see there are literally 16 and that works as well and it's probably gonna look better like that but i'm just gonna do eight because most people here do not want to spend hours and hours doing their fireworks show water show their water show and um they just want to spend time building and stuff so we're gonna do eight for this example right here so right here you see these water emitters grab this one right here the 850 the 850 dollar one bring it all the way up now we're gonna go to the right one two now flip it all the way around 180 degrees and then go one, two, three, four. That is how far away those two are going to be from each other. And now just to test to see what is a good strength of water for this, we're going to just test out some strength. So 150, let's see how good that looks. See, I think actually 150 is pretty good. That does not look bad at all. We might just do 150 for this one. And also for these, what we're going to do is go to move snapping one half and go up one half. So it looks a little better. You're going to be able to see more of the water if you do that. So make sure to go up one half. And then turn these off so they're not on the entire show and now grab these exact same ones and we're gonna be adding some more of them so we're gonna go all the way to this corner you see this corner right here go to the corner or just go do a corner I guess yours is a little different so I'm gonna go to this corner and go one two three and I'll place that and then I'm gonna just go one two like that so when you're making your part we're oh my goodness I said firework show again didn't I so when you're making your water show make sure to have it symmetrical um or else it's gonna look bad so make sure there's symmetry in it and if it's not just count how much away from like certain points it is so like add a really big primitive here and go like one two three one two three away from it so then it's all symmetrical so now we have it all laid out like this look how beautiful this looks it's all laid out and beautiful now we're going to be starting our sequencing well actually no i lied to you guys i'm sorry we're adding some lighting first so let's grab some lights let's grab a spotlight right here we're gonna grab they're all seven dollars fifty so let's just grab a random one and then we're gonna add spotlights under if you do not have disabled collisions i'd say either add spotlights behind like this like behind the thing or just don't add them at all and just have a show during the day because it's going to be kind of hard to do spotlights without disabled collisions so what we're going to do is add a middle spotlight and then we're going to add two spotlights on the sides and then two spotlights on these two sides like that so we're going to have five spotlights in total these four are going to be for the lights on the outside and then this middle one is just going to be for the one in the middle i totally forgot to add oh wait no i do have a middle one i just can't see it very well okay and now we're going to add more spotlights over here to this side so for this one it's gonna be so easy guys we add a spotlight and we're done and then we add another one in here and we're done and then for these over here all we have to do is add one right here add one right here and why the reason we're only adding one to these is because we're literally just gonna change the range of them and then it the range literally just correlates with as big as we need it to be so here we go actually it changed my mind we don't need this backlight right here we literally just don't need that one in the back so right here we're gonna go to off for every single light i know i probably should have done it from the beginning but um i messed up so if you're still on the phase where you haven't added the lights then make sure to turn them off when you do so off and off 
and off now the hard part about making this show is uh that it's synchronized with music if you don't want it to be synchronized with music that is totally fine it is going to be so much easier for you but it's kind of cool when you synchronize it with music so i'm gonna synchronize all right here we go we're gonna start with our sequencer so what we want to do with the music is to make sure like know exactly what the points are where there's like spikes in in audio or like a really high note and that is when you're gonna start or like have some significant thing in your show so we're gonna listen to the music and how this is gonna work i'm gonna play the sequencer and exactly when the sequencer hits two seconds is when i'm gonna start my music so then it's synchronized pretty dang close to like exactly perfect let's add it at one second well actually no at two seconds because we're starting at two seconds literally exactly when the music starts is exactly when the guitar starts so it's perfect that we're starting at two seconds right here with this and what we want to do i want to add a super cool effect that not many people use in their in their oh my goodness i almost said fireworks show again in their water show we should have a counter at the top saying how many times i say firework instead of water show so in this water show, I want to have a cool little effect where it like flows around through the circle. You're going to see what I mean. We go to item mode and we go to pulse or no fade. We go to fade and we're going to start with 25, start with 50 and it's going to go to 12, 112.5. So that is the start and the finish and to copy shift, press it, drag all the way to here and let it go and boom. It copies it and to grab one of the items to put into the sequencer you just hold shift press whatever item and then you just put it in so these are gonna be about 0.25 seconds away from each other every single one of these lines is 0.25 seconds away so we're gonna do every single line that we have I think we're gonna do pulse for this I'm glad that I redid this because I would have taught you guys the wrong way it's supposed to be pulse not fade It's literally just duplicate it and just keep going forever and ever and ever just pulsing again and again here we go. Okay, so we just scooch everything back to six. And then this main one in the middle is gonna be scooched back. And the main one's also gonna go, I'm gonna do 200 for this main one right here. 200% of power. Okay, and now it's gonna be at 6.25 right there. So yes, doing firework shows. Oh my goodness, I called it a firework show again. Doing water shows. Doing water shows takes a lot of like redoing, like testing it out over and over again. So keep that in mind. Okay, that kind of worked out. I think this, the main one in the middle is supposed to be a little bit earlier and it should be a little less time. I'll make it stop like right there. And these, I think I'm gonna make it just a little bit more back. It should have a little bit more of a special thing right here. And we're gonna test it out just one more time. Okay, so now we're gonna copy that same thing again on the other one because it literally just repeats the music. Okay, so I'm gonna just skip to when I'm done doing this entire circle and I'll show you what it looks like together. Okay, now the next thing we're gonna do is add some lighting to this. So basically we're gonna add this right here. So we're gonna add this light for when the first water emitter starts right here until the, the last water emitter ends so until at the very end of this spotlight right here and so this one i kind of want to make this a bluish color that's what i did for my other show i think blue is good i think it'll be like almost like a washed out blue now let's just add the add the the spotlight and i think it is a little delayed so we're gonna finish the spotlight a little before this water emitter finished all right now that we have spotlights included we're gonna turn it to nighttime so we're gonna turn it to nighttime and when we're working on it what we're gonna do is just add a light right here to help us like see while we're working on this fireworks show or water show oh my goodness i cannot stop so right here we're gonna be able to see when we're working on the water show but when we're testing it out all we have to do is turn this light off and then start the show let's see what this looks like that looks so cool Okay, here we go. So next thing we're going to be doing is it repeats, the song repeats the exact same pattern of like music again. Listen. See, that is literally the same thing except they added some claps in the background. So now we're just going to be adding the exact same pattern of like flowing, but for this big one right here. And since it's the same amount of water emitters, it's literally the exact same thing. So we're gonna start right here and it starts at about 12. I think we started everything at the second. Yeah, so we're gonna start at 12 and it's just the exact same thing basically that we're gonna do. 
and for the middle one right here you know how like it has the middle one shooting up after the little flow that one i'm gonna have a 250 for this one in it in the middle for the big one so now that we have all of this we're gonna add some lighting and then watch it one more time so we're gonna have for the lighting we're just gonna turn on these three spotlights on the side since it's a bigger uh circle from the moment we begin this thing so we're gonna add a little lower so then we can actually add all of them at the, at the time we need to so it starts at 12 and then it ends over here at 17 and we're gonna also make the middle one so the middle one is only supposed to be for this one middle water emitter so it's only gonna turn on for the one moment right here and we're gonna this one I don't think I want it to be blue maybe this one will make it just white and we're gonna make it long enough for all of these okay now I think we're good here now we just got to change the range of these lights so this one I want to be about 30 40 maybe these side ones I do want to be a little more this one will be like 50 uh, 49 I guess is good if anyone's enraged because I did 49 then I'll do this one as 49 as well yay more enraging and so and then the middle one should not be too much it should be maybe 35 there we go now let's see what it looks like and we'll turn off this light so it doesn't annoy us during the show maybe we'll just add some water just for funsies I want to see what it looks like with water let's see if it's good let's do this okay I think it was just a tiny bit early for the middle thing just a tiny bit though so just like a couple to the right there we go okay now we're going to be moving on to the finale of this entire firework water show okay yeah that's so that probably should count as um uh one in the the counter that we have up here so first in the music if you listen in the music there's one last pattern so the same pattern that repeats three times it repeats one last time except it doesn't have the one high note listen so everything should be melting down at 22 seconds so at 22 everything melts down and turns off and goes crazy so I think we're gonna start everything getting back up at about 17 okay so at 17 what we're gonna be doing is making this is gonna be doing the same flowing pattern but these two side ones are not they're just gonna go up so this is gonna flow while these sides just go straight up and don't do anything else and I think by 20 we should be melting down and stopping everything so we're gonna try doing that and maybe 20 is too early we'll see so everything is gonna stop at 20 maybe it's too early so just because we're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna test it out one more time but I'm just gonna skip until um, after the test so we don't waste a ton of time on the video okay I saw it I did test it and it's supposed to actually finish at 21 seconds so we're gonna move everything all the way to about a little bit before 21 seconds actually so maybe just like right here and for this one part right here we're not gonna be including the middle one right here so now since we have this right here we're gonna add the spotlights for this because we always got to have the spotlight on when this is on so at 17 seconds we're gonna start the three spotlights just the three not the middle one all right now we're gonna do that basically but for this one and this one but it's gonna be a little easier because we're not doing the one flowing motion so what we're doing to make it easier is we're literally just gonna add this one this one just the the four ones that would make like a diamond shape so just these four that like make the cross shape right there so we're gonna make those four go up and then we're gonna do these four right here so we're just extending these all the way to 21 or a little bit before it and these I want it to be about one let's do 150 of strength I think that might be good because what are these doing oh maybe not actually maybe we'll just do wait let's see so these are going up to 125 which I want it to be a little stronger than 125 actually and now for these right here which are the smaller circles we're just gonna be doing 125 now we're gonna copy that to all of them and we got to make sure that our spotlights are going to be on for that one so we have some light so we're going to add our spotlight for this one right here we that's why I made a little crack right there so we could add the spotlight and then one for this one too and then we'll make it long enough this is the moment before the big moment so now we're just going to see what this looks like right here let's add some water because I want to see it with the water it looks so much cooler with the water
that's gonna look so cool in the one big part okay that was actually perfect it melted down in that one part super well so now we are going to turn this light back on so i can see and then we're gonna grab our sequencer now we're gonna activate these three and everything else one more time here we go so here it starts at 20 i thought it was 21.5 i could be wrong i might have to do test it out again okay one second i'll be back guys once i test it out one more time okay so i found out that at 22.5 everything should be up so that means we're gonna do a little bit before 22.5 and this is like the last thing we have to do until uh like the big moment so that's all those water emitters uh we're just gonna turn these on to i'll do a uh, power of 175 and this middle one is going to be at power of one or 250 and also this moment is kind of long so we're gonna make all of these about to 22 point 25.5 seconds so it's gonna be a little longer than usual so we're gonna extend all of these and if you want to use this song for some reason in your show it's called go down swinging and you can find it in the youtube audio library all the spotlights that we have we're gonna turn them on it's gonna be white it's gonna be about three actually maybe yeah three is good and then we'll copy to all the other ones now i'm gonna skip to when i have these two circles right here done on here so i'm gonna put every single one of these water emitters onto here and then we'll skip to that part okay i'm done adding these two circles you can see them right here the sequencer now we're going to be adding these three little like patterns right here at the front uh this one right here we're going to add these two emitters on the sides and these i want to be about 175 of strength so 175 i probably could have just copied it over but i didn't and then this spotlight right here is going to be on it's going to be i think i'm just going to make that one white as well we'll make it three and then we'll drag it to be exactly the length we want it to and this spotlight right here we're going to make the range a little higher than the other ones because it is a little more spread out so we want we'll do range of 45 right there and then the range for these don't have to be that much these can be just like 30 now we're gonna add this one on and this one on and then the spotlight for that one and then we'll add these two I think we're done now so let's turn this light off in the front in the middle and let's see what this thing looks like I hope we're done if not we have to fix a couple problems but we'll see let's see what this looks like And that is our entire show that actually looked really really cool thank you guys for watching i hope this helped i hope you can now make your own shows if you didn't know how to before if you did and just wanted to watch this for fun i guess thanks for watching and don't forget to comment down below um uh, the fireworks thing because i said it so many times anyways thanks for watching this video i hope it helped and if it did help don't forget to like the video and also one last thing guys do what it says right here that is all I have to do now. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.